An inhaler helps you so when you're out of breath, you can like your lungs get more air so you can actually breathe. An inhaler is a little thing that kind of like comes down and then curls out and there's a little opening right here and you press down and puff air comes out. So there's a little tiny tube of medication in the inhaler so you kind of like squeeze it and then you take a big deep breath and hold it for a few seconds and then it goes to your lungs and helps you breathe a little better. Hey there! If you've got asthma, then an inhaler is your new best friend. But what is an inhaler? Well, an inhaler is a portable device that helps people with asthma breathe better. It's a good idea to keep an inhaler close by at all times so you can get it when you need it. On your inhaler, you will see a number. This number tells you how many puffs are left. If your counter gets to 10, tell your parent or guardian that they need to order a new one right away. To use your inhaler, first you need to remove the cap and shake it. For me, it helps if I shake it like a ketchup bottle. If your inhaler is new, or if you haven't used it for a week, pump it four times in the air. This is called priming your inhaler. The best way to use your inhaler is with something we call a spacer. A spacer is important because it helps the medicine get deep into your lungs. At first, the spacer may look big or complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. There are two types of spacers. One goes in your mouth. The other goes over your mouth and nose. We'll show you how to use both. To connect the spacer to your inhaler, simply place the inhaler into the hole in the back of your spacer. If you have a spacer without a mask, put the open hole of the spacer into your mouth. It goes on top of your tongue and in between your teeth, with your lips wrapped closely around it. Now, press down on your inhaler as you breathe in, slowly and deeply. Make sure you breathe only through your mouth, because if you breathe through your nose, your inhaler won't work. Now, hold your breath for 10 seconds. It may be helpful to count 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, all the way up to 10 1,000. After holding your breath for 10 seconds, breathe out. If you have a spacer with a mask, place the mask over your mouth and nose, nice and tight against your face. Then, press down on the inhaler and breathe in and out for six breaths. After you see the flap open and close six times, you can take the mask off. If you're using a controller medicine, you can go ahead and use it again Right away, if you're using a rescue medicine, however, wait one minute before using it again. Remember, check how many pumps are left, shake your inhaler, prime your pump, connect it to the spacer, place it tightly in your mouth or over your mouth and nose, press down, breathe slowly and deeply, hold for 10 seconds, then exhale. That's all there is to it. Oh, and don't forget to keep a spacer at home, at school, and if possible, one in your backpack too. My best thing about my inhaler is that it can help me with my asthma. It can provide a way for me to go throughout my day without having to worry about my breathing at all. I love my inhaler because it helps me breathe better.